Okay, so this scene is from the movie Super 8, Super 8, directed by J.J. Abrams. And basically what the movie started out with is there was this big train crash and it released a bunch of gray Rubik's Cubes that um, were part of this like kind of being, this like organism slash like alien sort of being that's like terrorizing this town. And the sheriff right here in the picture was trying to, here let me make it full screen, was trying to um, find out what the um, being was or like what was going on in the town. And, and this scene is the scene of his death. And it was just a great um, suspenseful scene that I thought was pretty brilliant. Okay, here we have like dogs walk by. And I love how like this scene opens up because animals running away are always a warning that a storm is impending. And like this alien sort of being represents the storm that is draped over this town that is causing all this trouble. And it can just strike at any time it wants. It really introduces like the suspense in the scene and the mystery and really good. And it's really brilliant foreshadowing with what's about to happen in the scene. And I think animals can always be an indicator of foreshadowing when something bad is about to happen because animals sense things sometimes better than we do. And I, and J.J. Abrams uses that to his advantage. I mean, another great uh, zoom in here is uh, the zoom in on the sheriff's face. It's a clear indicator that the sheriff now knows something wrong as he's just seen the animals run away. It This close-up, like, Abrams uses it a lot to emphasize, like, the anxiety and, like, the, like, the sense of bewilderment in a character's face. And right here, he's very confused. He, he, he knows that, I mean, he knows something bad's about to happen, but he doesn't know what's, what's going to happen. And he just is very confused, and there's a lot of anxiety on his face. And he seems very anxious. Okay, this is, this like, little these sounds and these quick sounds and jump scares sort of are, this is like t typical horror movie, mystery movie techniques. And like with the sound, sound use that jump scares, jump scares and, and ruffling the bushes shows like the mysterious being is like around him, but you can't see it. And it, it's, it's ask, make, making the audience ask questions. Also, but like, I, what I think is unique about it is Abrams uses different tech, um, like different camera angles and techniques to show the different emotion on the on the um where the different point of views like the sheriff sees like this long shot right here showing his his clear fear and the shot through the um right here I think it's um through the through the police car which I thought was really interesting and then the ruffling of the bushes like you can't see the sheriff's face here. But like you, but the audience. So it's sort of like dramatic irony, but not really. But it's it's very great foreshadowing. He his use of sound is great foreshadowing to what's about to come happen. Okay, so this obviously the scene ramps up in intensity and like you could it just there was like a sense of like quiet before the storm. It was really quiet and then suddenly the dumps the dumpsters hurling and like out of nowhere and we know like there's about to be action in the film. And obviously the the quietness is especially made to increase the suspense, but it's yeah, as I said, it's always the quiet before the storm. And then to abruptly change the gas station cashier when listening to music is really interesting um, to show the over the shoulder shot of like it's basically it's dramatic irony um, since we we know what's going on but the guy the, the character in the shot which is the cashier doesn't know what's going on so I think Abrams does brilliantly there in kind of not I'm not saying um, keeping us guessing but like giving us a great dramatic dramatic irony also the car in this is blurred sort of and i believe 
that um, that shows like the cashier is clearly oblivious to the situation and doesn't know that there's a huge monster um, killing the car. But um, I think it's great technique to show the blurred car because yeah, it does it shows how oblivious he is. Well, here with the flickering lights, I know like the power is going off to like increase the suspense. But I also like this is just my personal opinion. I also think it's a symbol to show how he was in the dark about the whole situation, but now he's finally come to terms with what's happening. And this kind of like says um gives a summary of the whole movie because basically the summary of the movie is these kids didn't know that this alien had um good intentions because the alien was going around killing everybody, but the alien was actually just trying to get home to its home planet. And so I think it was like giving foreshadowing to what the, the movie's actually about. And the kids were like in the dark about the knowledge of the alien, but in reality, um, the alien was just trying to get home. So like the, the flickering lights of like how dark to light is like that contrast, I think is very like a symbol about the whole movie. Um, Abrams, I love how Abrams does these long takes. Like, he's really famous for long takes to increase his suspense. He also cuts off any music, and all you can hear is the cashier's footsteps, which is, like, it's, like, kind of natural sound, which is great in, um, these, like, science fiction slash horror movies. Okay, so I thought this was brilliant by Abrams. It, like, this is another form of dramatic irony because you can vaguely see in this picture the like kind of shadow of a, a large figure, and obviously we can infer that this is um, the bit the creature or the alien. Um, but like, I love how he doesn't reveal the alien; he keeps us guessing until the end of the film when the alien is actually revealed, which is great dramatic irony by Abrams. Okay, so um, this is a great attack clip. Play a bit more. There we go. These, this was um, great cuts for the attack uh, on the cashier. At, like at first, when he there's this big zoom in, we'll go back to it on his face to show the pure terror. I mean, I mean yeah, it shows pure terror on his face. I mean, you don't see the creature, but you know it's huge and it's about to kill him. And I think the emotion, like the raw emotion, it's very good acting as well. But the raw emotion. Um, was very good in that, and then he cut back to here. It's great because the creature doesn't reveal. And then at the end, right here, I thought this was the, the, one of the smartest things is he uses this um, kind of like banner that says Kelvin gasoline to block out to keep the mystery of the creature so you don't see it, which is I think really brilliant. <coughs> That's the end of the scene. I think this scene seems. It seemed like maybe to the naked eye, like a typical horror science movie, fic like killing or fiction uh, movie attack. But um, Abrams uses, I think Abrams uses his different techniques and experience to really enhance the suspense out of it. And use techniques that also display underlying messages like the flickering lights, which I thought was brilliant. Um, the combination of suspense and the underlying messages is why I chose deeper to dive into the scene. Thank you.